Welcome to another Coffee Break. My name is Michael Moret. I'm reading today from 1 Thessalonians, chapter 1, beginning in verse 2. We give thanks to God, always, for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering, without ceasing, your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the sight of God and our Father, knowing, brethren beloved, your election of God. There was an election in the past, long before God created the heavens and the earth. There was an election, and if you are a Christian, you won that election. If you are a Christian, it is because God elected you long before you were born. If you are a Christian, it is because God wanted you in his family, and that in spite of your sin. Not just the sins that you committed before you were saved, but that in spite of the sin that you commit after you're saved. God still chose you. You say, I don't understand that at all. I don't understand that either. But it does illustrate God's unconditional election of his people. To be saved has nothing to do with us or anything that we have done. And knowing, though, that we are chosen by God to be his child, that should cause us to want to serve our Lord out of love and appreciation more than ever. When that gets down into your spirit and you understand that God loved you and God chose you in spite of you, that will stir a true Christian's heart to want to serve his Savior. This has been Michael Moret with another Coffee Break.